as I said many times, and as I made videos about the uh, the Twitch VOD track feature, as I talked about people who were doing everything they could to just not have their music in their VODs but still play it live, live DMCA takedowns are now a thing on Twitch. I said countless times it would be a thing. It's a thing now. As Zach Busey points out here, there is now a copyright takedown form that includes the option to take down a stream that is currently live. Now, this was already possible, but it wasn't something that just any copyright holder had access to. Only certain ones did and blah, 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 blah. Um, but it is a thing that exists now. Um, and there's already documented cases of it happening multiple times. Like companies are already taking strong use of it. Now, this doesn't necessarily, obviously, you know, there are issues as being pointed out here with Twitch's communication about it. They're not, as usual, they're not communicating greatly about it. But, of course, this doesn't excuse anyone uh, for streaming copyrighted content that they don't have licenses to. And the people who are using the separate VOD track and separate live track to stream copyrighted music, while currently that specific thing doesn't have any example of DMCAs, and I think that's because mostly TV and movie-related uh, content holders have been the ones who have been filing the takedown so far. It's coming, and it will come with a vengeance. And so, if you are using this to try to skirt around the copyright rules, things will go bad. <laughs>